Hey everybody, back again with another video. Uh, this is uh, another video similar to one, one of the other ones that I've done uh, about wet sand and clear coat. Um, this one will kind of show you, this is a car that's uh, been painted here. Um, it's a 70 Roadrunner. Uh, and just to show you the first step that I'm kind of going on here, um, I got this uh, linear block here. I use for body work, I use for wet sanding. It doesn't flex at all, it's completely rigid. Um, and this one has 800 on it. So this is what I start with uh, on these restorations. I hit it with 800 first. Um, and then over here, you can kind of see, if you look in the uh, in the light, you can kind of see the, the shiny spots and the sanded spots. So the shiny spots are going to be low spots and the sanded spots are the, you know, higher spots. So basically, I'll go and I'll sit there and I'll sand at a 45 back one way and 45 at the other way and, and I'll do some some little bit more straight strokes in between just like I'm doing body work uh, and then I'll dry it off and check it because you don't want to burn through uh, the 800 you also have to make sure you have enough clear on here on the car so you don't burn through them uh, this car we got about four coats of clear on it this is a B5 blue Roadrunner um and the 800 basically is it's going to cut all of the highs and low spots and make the, the the surface of the paint truly flat like completely flat then once you got it flat then all the other grits that you're going to be using is to get the 800 grits out so you know after 800 we'll go hit it with a thousand 1200 1500 2000 3000 and then i'll, I'll go to five sometimes uh, but it's not really as necessary. Um, cause sometimes, you know, you start polishing and you see little scratches, you just gotta go back and sand them a little bit more just throughout the process because there's so much sand involved. You know, you can use a uh, Merca makes a, a guide coat that works good for that as well. Um, so this is just how I do it. Uh, there's many ways, you know, to, to do these cars. Um, and the main thing is to just have patience, take your time, make sure the water's clean, make sure your blocks are completely clean, keep the water changed frequently, um, don't have any loud music on, I don't like, I have the doors closed today, I don't want dust flying around in here, dirt or anything, um, no earbuds in, no music playing, and go through this car and sand it, because if you got your music jamming, you're not gonna hear a piece of trash jumping between your sandpaper and the block or the sandpaper and the surface that you are sanding on, which is the, you know, the car itself. Um, one piece of trash can ruin a paint job. Uh, if you're paying attention, a couple of light strokes with the trash, most of the time you can catch it uh, and it can be sanded out depending on the size of the trash. So. You just have to take your time. You have to be patient um, when you're doing these cars. And the end result pays off, you know? You have a beautiful car once it's all done, looking like a piece of glass. Uh, I do like to wait minimum of two weeks to let these cars gas off. Some people will sand them right away and then let them sit for two weeks. I'll let them sit for two weeks or longer. This one's been sitting for about a month just because I've tied up with other cars which doesn't hurt at all. I mean, the, the longer the better. Let it get good and hard and sand it, cut it flat, polish it. Uh, I, I'm using the uh, Rupa's Bigfoot polishing system on this one. Um, I usually, I've been using rotary so long, I've just had to change it up and step up to the newer stuff just so I could get that final look that I'm looking for. Um, well, that's about it for this video. I just want to, you know, make a little video about this. Hopefully it helps somebody out. Uh, and if you got any questions or, you know, need a couple of pointers, just hit me up and uh, leave a comment in the comment section. And um, I'll do my best to, you know, get back to you as soon as I can. Well, don't forget, 
hit that thumbs up if you like this video and uh hit that subscribe button they got a little bell right there hit the bell and it'll let you know next time one of these videos pop up they're not too often but um uh, i'll keep you guys updated peace out